Welcome back to the NASCAR Spidey to Co. Cup Series. To conclude this double header weekend here today at the Darlington Raceway, we had the 400 mile race a couple of days ago, and now it is time for one of NASCAR's crown jewels. This race right here was the first NASCAR race on a super speedway long before Daytona, long before Talladega, long before tracks like Pocono, Indianapolis, all these big, bigger racetracks. But before then, we had the Darlington Southern 500 here today. So the drivers have now recuperated and are now getting ready for today's, of course, for today's 500 miles. We had practice earlier in the day and now we are ready and set to go racing. Let's have a look here at your race analysis for today's Southern 500. 37 cars, of course, have arrived here today. It is a 1.5 mile racetrack. However, though, it is uniquely shaped like, well, an egg. 500 miles, of course, eight laps, and the 12 car of Ryan Blaney will start on pole here today. And starting alongside him will be the 11 of Denny Hamlin also as well. In the second row, believe it or not, the 9 of Chase Elliott, who had a horrible, horrible 400-mile um, race a couple days ago. We'll be starting alongside him as well. Then it will be Kurt Busch alongside Kyle Larson, Tyler Reddick, Eric Almarola, Kevin Harvick, Mark Trix Jr., Kyle Busch, Joey Logano. That will wrap up the top 10 here today. So a lot of drivers here today are looking for a little bit of redemption. And of course, for Kyle Larson and Christopher Bell, both of those two drivers are in contention for the championship with only, with only really two races remaining, that being Fontana and Phoenix. In case you haven't heard, schedule has been shortened up a bit. But let's see what's going to happen here. Blaine is going to lead us down. The green flag is in the air. We're racing at Darlington once again. Single file going into turn one and two. Three wide down the back stretch. Blaney what a great lead from the 11 of Hamlin. But here comes Kurt Busch. No, here comes Chase Elliott looking for third here. Oh, Hamlin's going to spin. He's got really loose right there. McDowell's going to go. Make it three wide there. There goes Chase Elliott for second. Oh, there's William Byron making a move. Going up to the front here. He's desperate for a win this season. Oh, we got a spin. Kyle Busch. Spin around right there. Bubba Wallace and Brad Kozlowski there. Jogging up there for position. Here comes Kurt Busch to take the lead. Kurt Busch. Ryan Blaine side by side. Oh, no. They're both going to spin out. Bush got into Blaney right there, and both of them spin out. Byron takes the lead. With Elliott in second still. You can see really right there, you know, just Blaney and Bush, both, Kurt Bush, both racing hard side by side against um, one another, and that will bring out the, uh, the caution here. First one today for um and for an incident on track so now coming down here to the down to the wire here now, of course if you know how things go we're gonna have a green white checkered finish now normally the only other time we would have now what classifies as a green white checkered is that if is that we if we can get to the red flag lap then we'll have a green white checkered finish the green and the white flag will come out the next flag will end the race however though if a caution comes out after the red flag lap then that will be considered to be overtime we haven't really had a lot of an overtime finishes but we've been having lots of green white checkers um here lately this goes to prove how crazy these races have just been 
have just been becoming and all that sort of stuff. It's just absolutely crazy how many times just the races have gone, of course, you know, down here. But Byron is looking for race win number one of the season. The rest of his, well, Larson and Elliott have been to victory lane. Here we go to the green flag and the white flag. Let's see what's going to happen here. Ross Chastain turns Denny Hamlin. And that's going to end the race. The caution is going to come out. Hamlin goes hard into the wall there. Contact from the 42 of, 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 of Larson there. And now, of course, as said before, that will end the race. Right there. Hamlin. He is not happy with that 11, with that, um, excuse me, with that 42 of Ross Chastain there. Wow. Well then. So Blaney here is going to pick up the, so, no, excuse me. So, Byron here is going to pick up the win at Darlington. Of course, last year, um, in 2020, last season, in season um, number four, Byron won at um, Nazareth, the Nazareth Speedway. And he will be getting the second win here today. It's an end to the 404 to the 11 radio. Denny Hamlin. Of course, um, like I said before, he's, he is just not happy with that one car. Or with that 42 car. Uh, excuse me. Um, so now Byron, as said before, is going to... Um, um, is going to take the win here today. Byron has been close so many times throughout the season and finally gets that elusive win. Great day for Byron. Looking at your championship here. Elliot is going to finish in second. He had a great run. Christopher Bell continues his points lead. Michael McDowell, Alex Bowman wraps up the top five. And then it is, Lar and then it is Chastain, Larson, Reddick, Dylan Newman wraps up the top 10. Blaney is able to finish 11th. Then it is Bubba Wallace. And then Chase Briscoe. Eric Amarola. Josh Berry in the 88. And then Brad Keselowski. And then Bush. And then another Bush. That wraps up the top 20. And then here's the remaining drivers. Logano. Harvick. Truex. Stenhouse. Couple of the uh, winner from a couple of days ago, and then it is Suarez, Christopher Busher, Ryan Priest, Corey LaJoy, AJ Almendinger. Bad days for Eric Jones and Justin Haley did not bring great setups here today. B BJ McLeod, tough day for Austin Sindrick, tough day for Matt De Benedetto, tough day for Anthony Alfredo. You will not be going back to that number 38. That 38 seat will be vacant by Todd Gilliland in 2022. Cole Custer um, did not have a good race. Then Joey Gase, J.J. Yaley, and Garrett Smithley will round up the field. So once again, we are going to be returning next time out to the Auto Club Speedway. In Fontana, California. See you then.